Hey guys, this is Rose from Rewritten Vintage Journal. This is like the fourth time videotaping because I have children and dogs and it just isn't, <laughs> it just doesn't work. Anyway, this is the second one of my eco print journals and ephemera pack. And I wanted to have the ephemera pack loose so you could see everything that comes with it. And I was going to insert it into the journal. But as this, this is my second time for this journal, I am just going to leave it. And hopefully we will go through it and you'll, you'll understand. You'll get it. So each pack or each journal will come with all of this ephemera, the ephemera pack. And I have already inserted it in the journal to give you an idea where you can put it. But ultimately, I wanted it to be... Um, your choice so like the pockets you can um, figure out which page that you want to attach the pocket to and either use staples or glue or sew it so each one comes with a sari silk and on the the end there is um, glass beads dangling off there and so let's take this off and it's multiple colors and the journal is seven inches wide by nine and a quarter tall. It has 80 pages front and backs. Back it is a heavy um, paper bag and I have used a soft beeswax to give it some protection. So it um, creates a beautiful, adorable cover finish and it has a soft luster on it which protects from water and I will put another coat on it and I'll buff it you can't tell it's on there but it is if you want to glue something to the cover it may not stick because it's wax and there's the beautiful beads coming off the side this is the specimen photo slide that I made and it comes with a bald pin so you can attach it wherever you want and then here is this cluster that's eco dyed paper and then eco dyed fabric okay all right, let's not break it. Okay, so inside, so the inside of the cover did not turn out as well as this and they're Black Hide Susan, so I don't know if I said that probably. So I added an extra piece there and these are geraniums. And then it looked kind of plain, so I added this clear laminated pocket with uh, dried flowers from my garden. Each one of them will come with this paper bag that I eco dyed and these are Y Julia. And I did not iron the pages. I left them as they dried because I like rubbing my hand and feeling the impression of the flower. And there is a fern there if you can't see. And then this here is actually a rose. I love it. This here is um, dyed with purple cabbage, red cabbage, and um, it's it's notebook paper, journal paper, geranium. This is um, notebook paper, and I just love the purples that came out in this one. And then I tried to coordinate colors. And this is the purple smoke bush leaves. This was dyed with elderberry. And here is my first little pocket and I just attached it with a clip so you can put it wherever you like and then glue it staple down. Now these here are Black Eyed Susan again on a light of paper. So there are indents where the, um, the middle was and I just left it there, left it like that. I did not try to, to force it. And then each journal will get this laminated a bookmark and then there's sparkles in there, dried flowers. Some more eco dyed paper. And here is a little envelope. You can add some things in. And each one will come with this side tuck. And I thought that looked beautiful there. So I'll probably paper clip it in. You can glue it in um, because of the pinks the avocado dyed for a little side tuck. 
And we got some more impressions there. And this here was my favorite. So this is a vintage envelope and I um, attached dried leaves to it. And then I made it into this cute little note, note um, pad and it just clips, you just clip it in. I love it, I loved how that turned out. So here is the board, here's the writing board. It's hard, it is, um, you just slide it underneath the page that you're writing on, it stays in the middle. Um, so it's easier to write on. It's waxed front and back to, to um, protect it and keep it durable. All different types of paper in this one. So there's, there's like different pads of paper, multimedia paper, watercolor paper, because um, each paper takes, you know, the stains and the eco dyeing differently. So, and I just love that. You can feel the, the, um, the plant leaf in that one. And then there's a specimen card and you can take it out, unclip it wherever, and put it wherever you want. You can stick it in that little envelope. Then each one has this, um, so the, there's three calendulas that you can see. You can make it into a pocket, you can keep it, write on it, journal on it. So each one has one of those. And then this here is, I made a card, like a blank card, and I used eco dyed print. This is Bee Balm. And then you can just, a blank white. And then you can leave it in there, you can journal on it, you can give it away. It, I liked it. And then this here is a, you can use it as a belly band or a little side tuck. You just attach it to your whatever page that you like. And then this is a beautiful envelope that I made. And then inside will be a specimen, forget-me-nots. And you can put that, you can, you can attach that to a a page and have it tuck in behind there. All kinds of things you can do with it. So pretty. I just love, I love, I love eco dyeing paper. It's fun. But I gotta, I gotta figure out what to do with it. Because you can't keep it all. And then there is a pocket, see through pocket laminated. And then this comes from an old ledger. And I just love how that turned out. It took it beautifully. And then this is the back, and here you have, that's a rose. And that's a lupin. Big, beautiful tag, nice laminated pocket, and another little tag. So guys, these will be available in my Etsy shop later on tonight, once I put the kids to bed. And like I said, there's two of them, so each one of them has basically the same. The covers are different. Um, the beads are different because I coordinated. So this is going to be Black Eyed Susan. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to, what I'm going to call this one. But this one has the eco dyed paper on the side. And this one has it inside. I just liked the simplicity of that cover. Okay, guys, I hope this gives you some inspiration to use those eco dyed papers and have a great day. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye.